Hey guys, it's me, Sydney, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here and you guys are part of the Fit Fam now, hey, my name's Sydney. Welcome. If you guys are coming from Devin's channel, which, by the way, shout out to you, Devin. You're super awesome. Hey guys, my name is Devin from Devo's Videos. Welcome to this collab that me and Sydney are doing together. I am a sophomore at UCLA. I'm on the club swim team, and I do a bunch of IM sports. So me and Sydney decided that for our collab, we would do this kind of health, fitness, ways to stay active and healthy and in shape in college. So once you watch this video, you hop on over to my channel and see the other pieces of advice that I came up with. Me and Sydney have different perspectives and just, you know, all the little nuances. So we thought it'd be really cool to see how our lives are different in staying healthy at college. When you're over there, make sure you check out some of my other videos. I post a lot of college-related content, some fun stuff, and then just my life. So if you like it, be sure to subscribe. Um, and if you're coming from my channel, make sure you subscribe to Sydney down below. She's a really great YouTuber from, like, lifestyle to college videos. So check her out. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy the video. Devin is another YouTuber. We're both collaborating on ways to stay healthy in college. He goes to UCLA, so if you guys are interested in that type of thing or like seeing more college videos, definitely go and check him out. Watch his video because we are not going to have the same tips and tricks. So with that being said, I've been in college for a month. I'm a freshman here at ASU, but I'm just super excited if you guys want to follow me on my socials too, right here. This is my first sit down video. I have already gotten sick in college because, you know, um, college cough has been going around at my dorm and my floor just got hit this past week and I'm surviving. <laughs> Airborne is my best friend. But with that being said, I just wanna get into the tips and tricks. I'm gonna focus on nutrition first and then exercise and hopefully this helps you guys out because I know personally for me, like I do not wanna gain the freshman 15 and I don't think you guys do either, but these are the tips and tricks that I've used this past month that have really helped because the first two weeks I was implementing the routine and then the next two weeks I was making sure that it stuck so when I like talked about it in my video, I wasn't just like spitting it out of my asshole, you know? Alright, so the first section is nutrition, and the first thing I have to say about this is the dining hall is your best friend and your worst friend. So with that, depending on your meal swipes, decide going in there, just tell yourself, alright, I'm going to be eating this, but I'm not going to have this. That's what I had to tell myself. Some of the sweets I knew if I started eating them, I would eat them the entire year and ruin my progress and just like gain the freshman 15 within the first week. So I told myself, no ice cream, just because then I can just stay good and like I I know that's a weakness of mine and once I start like if I start having frappuccinos like I'm gonna keep drinking them so I told myself no ice cream um, and then I also found out there's a couple different hacks that dining hall offers so because I'm at ASU I'm gonna tell you guys the ones that ASU offers but I'm pretty sure a lot of colleges offer these so you can definitely check in and see if they have this option for you so the first thing I do is get grilled chicken so I usually have this for lunch and then I put a side of like lettuce and some uh, Italian dressing or something like that on it and I just eat that you literally just go up to the grill and you ask them can I have some grilled chicken and then you tell them how many slices you want that's what ASU offers for us I'm pretty sure some other colleges offer that too another thing is to go boxes so if you are the type of person that maybe isn't hungry 24 7 but you know you have like a certain amount of swipes a week or something like that you take the to go box I think it's like 550 you buy it once and then they like you wash it out in your sink and then you bring it up and down and they like replace it for you um but the big thing with this is like instead of having bad dorm snacks and you're like hungry you can get the to-go box go downstairs get your healthy salad bring it back upstairs and study or like whatever you're trying to do but that's a really good hack just because then you can have like your grilled chicken you don't have to eat it right then or you can like save it for later rather than being downstairs Another thing is, personally, something that I do, and I'm going to probably out myself on this, you're not supposed to take fruit from the dining hall for breakfast. Big thing, I have two swipes a day. I mean, technically, it's 14 a week, so I could, like, swipe three times one day and, like, one time another day, or wh however it averages out. But I usually have banana and peanut butter upstairs for breakfast in the morning just because I don't have a lot of time to go and eat in the dining hall. But they have fruit. Take the fruit. Put it in your bag or just carry it upstairs. It's not like anyone's gonna notice. It's just fruit, you know, it's, it's chilling. The next thing is figure out when the shuttle takes you to the grocery store at your dorm. So personally at my dorm, they have it on Sundays. Every 20 minutes the shuttle goes, which is like really, really convenient because you can kind of just go whenever you want. I had two friends that went earlier today and then um, I actually got my groceries like a couple days before. But the whole thing is you go and you make a list of things that you're actually gonna eat for the week so you're not wasting money. 
um, but what I do is I usually have a couple different recommendations for you guys because this is what I keep in mind. You guys are going to see a whole like another what's in my mini fridge. But I usually have Outfit for breakfast, which is like oatmeal. This you can get at Fry's. Then I also have these Power Crunch bars for in between classes, which I just got this one today and I'm about to eat a Power Crunch bar after I finish filming. And then I have like fruit and Skippy peanut butter. And then I also get gallons of water because the gallons of water really help keep you full all day long and then you stay hydrated. You can take them to and from classes. It's just a really, really simple way to stay on track. My next tip though is don't bring shitty food into your dorm. Uh, this is probably the simplest idea to tell you guys, but like so many people I know are like, oh, I hate why I'm gaining weight. Like, I don't know why I'm gaining weight. But then you see in their dorm and they have like top ramen, mac and cheese, which isn't bad in moderation, but just if you're trying to stay, stick to your goals, keep those options out of your dorm or have them limited because if you have them there, they're going to tempt you, especially when you're like doing your homework and you want to munch on things, which leads me to my next point. Do not snack while studying. I started that the first week after I got homework and I realized I needed to cut this out so fast because if I started snacking while studying, I was totally going to screw it up. Now going on to my exercise tips. The first tip and the simplest tip is to take the stairs. Yes, I know, stairs, they're very intimidating, but if you can stay out of the elevators, like personally at the dorm that I'm at, people get so mad when um, people are like getting stopped on every floor for the elevator. And if you don't want to deal with that, if you if you get mad about that, or if you just like like being active or you want to take the stairs, take the stairs. If you're going down, it's going to be like a little bit more calorie burn, but it's also not going to be like too much work, you know, because you're still going down and then going up. I do that sometimes when I go from like my floor to the top floor because that's like a good workout and you're like so out of breath and you're like, dang, I just did that, yeah. The next tip is to get into a routine. For the first week, it was so busy. They always had things to do. You don't feel like you have time for the gym. Make the time because if you start making the time when you're super, super busy, before classes start, once classes start, you're gonna have that routine and that mental focus of like, oh yeah, I wanna go to the gym, I need to go to the gym. So for me, what I did was I did that, and then I ended up at the gym every day, I like kinda have a routine, and some days, like I look at my planner, I write my classes in my planner, and then if I have two hours or more between my classes, which I usually do on Mondays, I go to the gym between then. If I don't have that long of a break, then I wait until after my classes or I go before. So my first class of the day is like 9 a.m. So for me personally, like I don't wanna go that early normally. So I just wait until after my classes because those are done by like three. So big tip, schedule it in, stick to it. Do not have excuses because you're always gonna have an excuse. You're gonna be like, oh, I have homework. Oh, I'm so like tired. Just go to the gym, get it done. Because honestly for me, like the big thing was in high school, I like just drove and I went to the gym and then I was there and I couldn't like come up with excuses. Here, I have to like go upstairs to my room, change, and then like go to the gym or like grab something, you know, that I need for the gym. And then I'm like, oh, I don't want to go. Just go to the gym, get it done, and create a routine for yourself. Realize why do you want this. And since you do have a gym membership, at least with ASU, you get a free gym membership through like the uh, ASU gyms. And also my dorm has a gym too, just... FYI, that's pretty cool. Um, utilize it. Utilize everything that they offer for you. They offer so many cool things at my gym. They offer like kickboxing classes, yoga classes, all those really cool things. So honestly, if I were you, I would go to those classes. If you're intimidated and you don't want to go alone, bring a friend. There's so many people in college that want to go try out those classes and like it's kind of a fun thing to do with a friend. No one's there to judge you or anything like that. So get in the gym get in the classes, have fun with it, and try new things, honestly. Like, I mean, I'm going to aerial yoga on the 17th, so that's pretty cool. That's in like a week, less than a week. Stay hydrated, fam. But those are all of my exercise nutrition tips. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, hit the subscribe button, you know, join the Fit Fam, follow me on my social media, and if you guys have not checked out Devin or his channel or his video or anything like that, don't forget to check the description box down below, click that, go give him a like, a comment, you know, let him know that he's part of the the Fit Fam Squad or like you came from Fit Sid or something like that. But 
seriously guys I love you so much and I'm so excited for all of the cool videos that are coming if you guys have any requests leave them down below I will talk to you guys in my next video I'll see you guys bye